And he sendeth forth two of his disciples, and saith unto them, Go ye into the city, and there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him, and wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the good man of the house, The master saith, Where is the guest chamber, where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room, furnished and prepared. There, make ready for us. And his disciples went forth, and came into the city, and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. Ever look at this passage in this way? All through life, Christians come across times when they do things for the Lord without even knowing it at the time they're actually doing it. You know, when I read about this man that prepared the upper room that day, I wondered if he furnished and prepared this upper room in advance simply by the Holy Spirit moving him to do so. In other words, did he know it was for Jesus? Or was it that he did it with the hope it was for Jesus? In either scenario, he was obedient to the Spirit of the Lord without questioning him. And so, when I see passages like this in the Word of God, it makes me wonder if this man had the same zeal and sense of awe within as Noah did when he was building the ark without seeing a single drop of rain. My prayer is that the bride of Christ eventually gets to a place in their walk wherein they simply do things in faith without question. Thank you for watching. God bless.